are very welcome to Jesus' soul family, living in the wisdom of God. I'm so happy to have you with our new story of the sacrifice and victory of Jesus. The climax of God's redemptive plan came when Jesus willingly went to the cross, bearing the weight of humanity's sins. He endured unimaginable suffering and death. His sacrifice satisfied the justice of God, opening the way for reconciliation between God and man. As Jesus hung on the cross, Satan believed he had won. But on the third day, Jesus rose from the dead, conquering sin and death. His resurrection marked the ultimate defeat of Lucifer's rebellion. Jesus' victory ensured that all who believed in him would have eternal life and be restored to a right relationship with God. The story of the final battle and restoration. Though Lucifer's power was broken, he continued to wage war against God's people, seeking to lead them astray. However, the ultimate victory belongs to Jesus. The Bible foretells a final battle where Jesus will return in glory to establish his kingdom fully. In this final act, Satan and his followers will be cast into the lake of fire, and all creation will be restored to its original perfection. God's promise of a new heaven and a new earth will be fulfilled, and his people will live in eternal peace and joy. This is the story of Jesus and Lucifer, a tale of rebellion, redemption, and ultimate restoration. It reminds us of the eternal struggle between pride and humility, sin and salvation, and the enduring hope found in Jesus Christ. Let's pray for this word so that keep keep reminding us of this important message. Today, I come before you with a humble heart, seeking your divine presence and guidance. Lord, always keep me in your loving hands and grant me the peace that surpasses all understanding. Remind me, dear Lord, of everything I might forget in the hustle and bustle of life. Help me to remember your love, your promises, and the path you have set for me. Pour out your blessings upon me, Lord. Bless my thoughts, my actions, and my journey. May your grace cover me and your wisdom guide me in every step I take. Keep me close to you, Father, and let me feel your comforting presence every day. Thank you for your unending love and mercy. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. I thank you for your time. God bless you.